So this year's prize in economic sciences honors empirical findings about the price movements of assets such as stocks and bonds. In the 1960s and 70s, Eugene Fama established that prices are extremely hard to predict over shorter horizons. He also demonstrated how new information such as dividend announcements gets incorporated very quickly into prices. In sharp contrast, in the early 1980s, Robert Schiller discovered significant predictability over longer horizons. When asset prices are high relative to dividends, they tend to be followed by low returns over the following three to seven years. How should these predictability findings be interpreted? Lars Hansen's key contribution was to develop and apply a new statistical method, the generalized method of moments, to evaluate the standard theory of asset pricing. He found that the standard theory, which views investors as rational, had great trouble explaining the data. This gave rise to intense research efforts. The approach which, which Hansen and others uh, pursued is based on time-varying dividend risk and risk aversion. With this approach, low prices can be explained by high perceived risk. And the subsequent high return is then a compensation for the risk. Another approach where <coughs> Robert Schiller has been a, a pioneer, can be found in a new area of behavioral finance. The main idea here is that investors' forecasts need not be perfectly rational. Periods of low prices then represent periods of excessive pessimism. So the current understanding of asset prices uh, relies in part on rational investors and their concerns about risk, and in part on psychology and behavioral finance. Farmers, Hansen's and Schiller's research not only radically changed the views among researchers, but also influenced market practice in many ways.